Welcome back, mathletes. Simplifying radicals, you need to know your perfect squares. So, we got 512. Is that a perfect square? I don't know. We have 1, then 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, that's 13, 196, 225. 225 is 15. Now, if you know any more, uh, there's another one, 256, that is 16. How do you find these answers? You do 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, or in this case, 256 is 16 times 16. Here we go. 512. Um, let's say you're like, all right, I, I don't want to do all this. Well, if if we do a little prime factorization, so inside the square root still, we take a 2, we divide by 2, 512 divided by 2 is 256. Now, let's talk about this K. This K right here is K squared. So there's two of them. It's K times K. Well, that is a perfect square. So we're going to get that guy and put him on this side. I'm putting him on this side because this side is, as you can see, my perfect square side. So what is the square root of 256? Well, because we know it's a perfect square, it is 16 times 16. So the answer is 16. What is the square root of k squared? That's asking, what times itself is giving you k squared? That answer is k. And then this guy, 2, the square root of 2, stays put because there's nothing that multiplies times itself that gives me 2.